I'm Beth Watson, and I'm here today to talk to you about orb weaver spiders. You might call them barn spiders, calico spiders, corn spiders, garden, or banana spiders. All of these names are correct also. They get the name orb weaver because of the shapes of the webs they make. They have eight eyes and eight hairy or spiny looking legs. You can most easily tell females from males due to their size differences. The females can be up to nine times larger than the males. There are more than 4,000 different species of orb weavers worldwide, with 180 of them found in North America. This here is a species of golden orb weaver that passed away and was found in Bullock County, Georgia. It's about four hours south of Atlanta. Her lifespan runs about 12 months, and she probably ate thousands of mosquitoes during that time. I found this beautiful yellow garden spider in my very own garden right here in Atlanta. She did an excellent job of protecting my lemon balm from beetles. This one is called a spiny-backed orb weaver, and as you can see, they get their name from the little spikes that protrude from their abdomen. They kind of look like a tiny crab. I also found this one here in Atlanta. This is a giant wood spider, and she is from an insect conservation farm in Ma Malaysia. Their body size can grow up to five inches around, and that's not even including their legs. It's considered the second largest of the orb weaving spider family. All four of these spiders might look a little scary or weird, but they're super important. They'll eat all sorts of little things that want to eat up your garden, like flies, mosquitoes, moths, beetles, wasps, lizards, and sometimes, if the spider's large enough, snakes and birds. Now, orb weaver spiders typically are not aggressive. They won't chase you or try to bite you, and are really more afraid of you than you are of them. Their venom is used to kill their prey. To humans, a bite would feel painful like a bee sting, but not poisonous, so it's best just to let them be. Also, did you know that Charlotte from Charlotte's Web was an orb weaver spider? That's how she was able to weave such beautiful patterns and words into her web for Wilbur to read. And that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed our little talk, and please remember that orb weaver spiders are good, super good, and we need them to help protect our gardens. See y'all later.